everyone and welcome back to my channel or should I say hey allihopa och välkomna tillbaka till min kanal. In case you didn't know, I am actually Swedish. I live in Sweden and at home I speak Swedish. So in today's video I wanted to kind of teach you some Swedish words but the main sort of idea of this video is to talk about words that do not exactly mean the same thing in Swedish and English. So they are words that sound the same, but they mean completely different things. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but I just thought of this idea yesterday and you guys have been requesting me to make more videos about Sweden and videos in Swedish, etc. So I thought this was a, I don't know, it, it's potentially a good idea. You guys will have to let me know. Um, like this video if you find it entertaining and let's get started. So let's start easy. Um, the word barn, for example, you know, the place where you have, I guess, like animals, like farm animals, I think. Um, but in Swedish, barn means child. If you go to Sweden in the summer and you decide to go to the beach, I would not suggest to greet someone by saying hi <laughs> because in Swedish that means shark and I think that could terrify everyone on the beach. If you're texting a Swedish person that you like and you want to end the text message with something loving, I don't think that the word kiss is the best way to go because kiss in Swedish means P. The Swedish word for kiss, on the other hand, is not something I would say to an English-speaking person either because the Swedish word for kiss is puss. Not a great way to end a conversation. And if you do visit Sweden, don't be alarmed if you hear any of these words in a normal conversation because these are all very common words but they don't exactly mean the same thing in English. So the first really common word that we use in Sweden is bra or bra. And trust me, we don't talk about bras in every conversation. Bra in Swedish or bra means good. <laughs> Since we're talking about good, um, the word bad or bad in Swedish doesn't mean bad, it means bath. So that's the word I use quite regularly because I love me a good bod. <laughs> this word does not mean slut in Swedish. This is the word for end. So you know at the end of an old movie where it says the end in Swedish it would say slut. They're not calling you guys sluts. It just means the end. You're going too fast. Slow down your fart is something a Swedish person might potentially tell you in the car. Um, fart in Swedish means speed. <laughs> Speaking of farts, the word infart is a word that I've heard a lot of English people uh, react to when they visit Sweden because this is a word that's posted everywhere in like airports or like parking garages because it means like enter, like where you enter, um, but you know, it must look really weird for an English speaking person to see the word infart everywhere in parking garages. Now, this next one is something I thought about a lot when I lived in America because this number is a number you use a lot when you go to school. And when I was talking to like Hugo in school, I used this word in math class a lot. And I was really worried that someone would think that I, God forbid, spoke about something so PG. So the word sex in Swedish uh, does mean what it means in English as well. But it is also the word we use for the number six. All right, let's end this video off with a name. This is actually my lovely grandma's name and her name is Gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a normal Swedish name, G-U-N and uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know what this video was, but I thought it would be a good fun idea. You know, this is the necessary stuff you have to know when you visit Sweden, which I hope all of you will sometime because it is a beautiful country in the summer. In the winter, not so much. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of weird. Uh, but if you did, then please give me a big thumbs up so I know and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you again very soon in another video.
Bye guys. Hej då.